hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is key if you are new here so today we're gonna be doing a little bit of cooking something real quick and easy i'm gonna be making salmon red skin mashed potatoes and some broccoli please don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the family so that you don't miss any of my videos and let's go ahead and get started okay so right here as you can see we have the salmon and I'm going to be using some garlic sauce, some Slap Your Mama, Creole seasoning, adobo, parsley, black pepper. And I'm going to add some sazon on there as well. And then this is just my broccoli and my potatoes waiting to be prepped. So first what I'm going to do is single, uh, season every piece of the salmon. Me, I'm all about flavors. I like to taste my seasonings. So I'm definitely gonna make sure that it's coated really well. The Creole seasoning I, and um, the Slap Your Mama, I put it on everything. Some cayenne pepper as well. I do like it a little spicy. Okay, next is going to be the adobo. It's good on everything. And some parsley. And you see I use all kinds of brands. Whatever I see in the store, sometimes I don't have the other brands. I'll just pick up whatever. It's all used for the same thing. And it works. So... So look at that you can already tell it looks really really good really well seasoned and I'm gonna just flip it over and do the same thing I'm gonna go ahead and turn my stove on a medium heat Now, as you can see, like I'm just lightly sprinkling it on there to get a nice little coat. It's definitely going all over the salmon. It's going to be really, really good. I'm mad because I forgot to grab some lemon, but it's going to be so good. I ain't going to even be able to tell that I'm missing lemon. What I'm going to do is tap it on the sides to make sure that it's getting coated on the sides as well. And me, I'm like really in love with salmon. Salmon is like one of my go-to um, um, seafoods. And my diet has changed tremendously being that I just had surgery. So yes, um, definitely a go-to. Okay, you can't forget the minced garlic and definitely this butter. I'll put that in my pan with a little bit of olive oil. Kind of grease the bottom of the pan. And that butter is um, some garlic, parmesan, and basil seasoned butter. It is fucking good. Really, really good. Like, I cook it with a lot of my stuff as well. So, now I am going to add the salmon one by one. Ooh. Touch the lens. And it's just me and my two kids, so this is perfect. The perfect amount. 
So let me turn up the fire a little bit so that it can start cooking a little faster. Look. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It's gonna be so good. So certain parts of the potato, like if it looks like nasty to me, I'll just like kind of shave it off a little bit. Just cause I don't want all that in my potato. Prime example, see that? I don't like that. <laughs> That's not for me. So I just put a little, little bit. But I'll leave the skin on because it's very good on the potatoes. Gives it like a different kind of taste. And you know, these potatoes are like a little sweet to me. Mm. So I definitely leave the skin on there. On my next video, you guys will see my kids. I have a seven-year-old son and a 16-year-old daughter. So you definitely got you guys will definitely see them on this channel as well. So I'm gonna just cut them so they can cook really quick. It's currently six o'clock. This meal will definitely be done by 6:45. The salmon will be done first, I know. So when our water comes to a boil, I'll definitely be adding the potatoes. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just throw the potatoes into the water. So I can cut up this broccoli a little bit. The broccoli. So you see how they are big? Just gonna slice it up and make it look a little thinner. They are still semi-frozen. This is going to be seared. So I'll let the salmon cook on the side until I feel like it's brown enough for me. You can do it however you like to do it. I can't put a time on it because I don't never really time it. But I definitely just allow it to cook until it's golden on one side and then I just flip it. So I just want these like not as big so that when I sear it, it can get cooked really good. If you guys could smell the aroma in here right now, it smells so good. So, so good. Okay. So now I am going to flip the salmon. Mmm, looks 
fold that. This one fold too. So that's what it should look like. Mm, 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 mm. I cannot wait to eat. So I already started um, the pot for the broccoli. So what I'm going to do is cut like or like this to go inside the pot for the broccoli. I'm gonna spray some of this vegetable spray. But I just use the rest of my olive oil. So I do put soy sauce on my broccoli. It just gives it a nice little flavor. And I'm gonna season it as well. Try to make it better for you guys to see. Let me turn it this way. Guys, no, I'm still used to this. Uh, yeah, I'm not used to this YouTube thing, but you know, it's worth a start. I figured it's easy. All you do is record yourself and get your views up, right? So now I'm gonna season my broccoli. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic. Those garlic. Put a little seasoning on. And this, I'm going to add some accent salt. Well, I forgot to add the sazon to the fish, but it'll be all right. So the salmon is pretty much cooked. I'm just flipping it one more good time just because I like it really seared and like a little crunchy, if that makes sense. Mmm. So good. So, so good. Okay. I think that's a lot better. 
so I'm going to go ahead and take this salmon out because as you can see it is done So I want some like sauce to obviously go over my, to go over like the potatoes because I'm going to put the salmon on top of the potatoes. So I'm going to make a sauce. So we're going to use some heavy whipping cream. And I'm just going to put it in the skillet that I cooked the salmon in. Set this salmon in the microwave. I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce to the broccoli. I'm going to take the top off. Just a little, little bit. So this gives it a nice, good taste. Let me turn that up. Okay. Okay. So to this, I'm going to add some sazon. And this is really just for like color, really. I'm going to add a little bit of that. I am going to add a little garlic salt. Most of all, I am definitely going to add some garlic. Some minced garlic. I'll say about a teaspoon. I'm going to add a little bit of slap your mama in there. Some adobo. A little bit of Creole. And I am going to stir it. Just to thicken it up, I'm going to add a little cheese. I'm going to do a medium cheddar cheese. Just a little bit. Just because I want it thicker. Probably like a handful of cheese. And most of all, I'm going to add a little bit of chicken broth. Tab bit and that's a lot like for flavor. Really, really good. 
what I'm going to do is add a pinch of flour just to thicken it up a little bit. Literally a little bit. A spoon. So I'm going to add about that much flour. Just like I said, to thicken it up a little bit. Because it's going to be a sauce, so I want it to go over my potatoes. I'm going to thicken up. Mmm, that looks so good. Don't mind my dog. Seven, be quiet. I'm going to set that to the back because that's done how I want. Give it a little taste. Oh yeah. Now that's good. That's really good. So that's literally how the bacon came out. Perfect. Just how I like it. Mmm. Yes. Okay, so these potatoes are done. Now we are about to hook them up. We're going to start with draining them. a little spot. So now I'm going to take my potatoes. Ooh. I'm back in the pot. I'm going to start with a fork and just kind of mash them up. Let's see. They mash up so easily. Now add just a little bit of milk. mashed as possible. I'm going to add a little bit more milk and some butter. Just add a little bit more milk. You can really by breaking up, it just kind of makes it more easier and smoother. It makes it more like creamier. So that's why I keep adding it accordingly. Now I'm gonna add some heavy whipping cream. And 
and gives it a nice little creamy taste as well. Now I'm going to season it. I got some garlic salt. I have some accent. Just a little bit of this. I don't like to use too much salt. I have some Creole seasoning. And I'm going to add some black pepper. And you can't forget the parsley. Put parsley on everything. <laughs> Doesn't give it a flavor or anything. Just, you know, the little leaves make it look real nice. Bit more heavy whipping cream, just a tad bit. See how easy it is more now to stir it. And I can eyeball it and know that it's not to my liking, so I'm gonna put just a little bit more garlic salt because I like to taste my seasonings, like I mentioned before. So, what I'm gonna do now. Is try it and see if it's to my liking and have whatever I think it may need. Not too good. I'm gonna just put a little bit more. Like real seasoning. And this, my dear, is what it should look like. So now I'm going to go ahead and plate this food. Mm, so as you can see, this is the final meal. Final, it's complete now. I've plated it. So you guys go ahead and try it with me. Salmon in there. Is it broccoli? Okay, here it goes. Perfect. See you next time.